Hello, Hoosters. How y'all doing today? Whew. Thank y'all so much for looking at my video yesterday. Let's say prayers and I'll tell you what we're going to be eating today. I just got through cooking too. Oh, Father God, I just want to say thank you for my good report from my doctor. Thank you for mercy, grace, and love. Thank you. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. Thank you for the uh, the new subscribers and the old subscribers and blessing the YouTube channels. Thank you. Have your way. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Okay, y'all. So, we have baked chicken, roasted chicken, actually. We have uh, potatoes and uh, steamed broccoli with some butter, 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 butter makes it better. Yes, yes. So this is what I'm eating tonight. And uh, of course, let's, uh-oh, I'm wasting. Let's uh, do a toast for a brand new week. Mercies and graces that coming. Favor that's going to be bestowed upon us. So. <clears throat> salute, salute. Let's sip, sip, sip the good stuff. That glass is full, y'all. So, yeah. I'm excited. I, uh, I'm ready to eat, though, y'all. I am. Well, let me give y'all a bite because look at this potato, y'all. This is perfect cooked. Take a bite. Okay? Now, here's a roasted carrot. And then, let's just bite the chicken. Yum, yum, give me some. Y'all know that's my saying. Y'all, my house was smelling so good. I put it in the oven while I was working. I opened up that back door and I heard somebody say, oh, something smells so good. Y'all already know. I seasoned my chicken uh, earlier. Just to, um, for the flavor. Marinade. Mm, Y'all, this is good. Homemade food is just Delicious. Period. These potatoes, these hot. Oh, you know, I haven't been eating no hot sauce. Have y'all noticed that? Oh, tomorrow, uh, my hot mama pepper jam, no, jelly and jam will be here. Another six jars. He says it's a little hotter. So I'm so ready. To do it. Mm -hmm. To taste it, not do it. To taste them. Have y'all ordered some? Y'all really need to order some. I'm telling you guys. It's just so many flavors. I know you will have a favorite. Trust me. I'm going to see if they can uh, do free shipping if y'all uh, say... I told y'all to purchase it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, well, we, well, after these six uh, jars of jelly, we're going to sit around the table. They said it's a win-win for me. So I think I'm going to be marketing the jelly. So maybe uh, at the end of all of this, I can give some discounts or uh, uh, something, something. Mm, 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 mm. That's good. Mm-hmm. It's so good. I almost want to give me some more uh, carrots out that pot. Mm, take a bite. A chicken. Oh my God. That's so good. Mm. It just melts in your mouth. These are, oh my God. How many times have I said it? I know I said it a lot of times. Y'all probably saying, oh my God. That Greek seasoning is a whole nother element of flavor. 
get you some. Mm. Oh. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Really good. How was your weekend? What did y'all do? Wow, I had a good time. But uh, Sunday was low key for me. And I like it like that. I'm a Netflixer on Sundays after church. And I didn't cook yesterday because I had some leftovers. But, uh, my, you know, you have cocktails, you know. Talk on the phone or not. Text or not. Sit on the, on the, on the balcony. A lot. I ain't going to say or not. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. I don't know why I want some hot sauce. But I ain't going to do it. Y'all look, you know I got that fresh bottle unopened. <laughs> wait, wait, wait for me to open it. Oh. Mm. Before you leave, my new hostess, if you want to join the family, I'll be so happy about it. For real, for real. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That notification bell right on the side. Ding dong, ding dong. Don't forget to, you know, give me the thumbs up, 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 up. And uh, don't forget to comment, share, and like. Yeah. I'm growing. Mm -hmm. You know, when I look at YouTube, it's another subscriber. We a new subscriber. We just like clicked, right? But she was celebrating for the first month. She had 500 subscribers. I'm slowly getting to 100, and I'm I'm almost at two months. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I, I don't know. I don't even know. I think it's doing wrong. I just think everybody has their own flair, you know. And also, you know, I have a another job that I work. So, well, another job, my main job that pays the bills. Yeah, this food is just good. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's good. It's just so Oh, okay, don't don't forget. Two of my subscribers that subscribed um from the first time I did my first video, all those flaws was in it. And y'all stayed. When I get to 1,000 I'm going to pick two of y'all randomly to meet me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so get ready. And my hands is going to cook the food. Oh, that's hot. Y'all see that smoke? It's still hot. Just came out that pan. Oh, that flavor. Oh, so hot. The key, I think, to do it, especially chicken thighs or even breast with, with, with the skin on it, is to kind of lift that skin, put them that garlic under there and all your seasonings, and, that, and it, it soaks in that meat, just not on one side to the other, but underneath that skin, it just does a marvelous work. Mm. Y'all, I'm going to tell you, when my doctor called me today, Mm. I had already been praying for my help. She gave me some good news today, and I was so happy. And still, I'm not on no pills, y'all. I don't take no, no prescriptions, none. Because she said, whatever you're doing, Miss Hood, keep doing it. 
So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is good. You know, I'm going to tell you something. My husband, he loved my cooking. The man that broke my heart, he loved my cooking. Another guy that I had mentioned that, that he was trying to come back, he kind of slacked off because, you know, I just, I think sometimes when you move on, you just have to keep moving on. And um, he loved, loved my cooking. So I know I have a blessed hand to cook. And yeah, my two subscribers are going to be very happy. But I think um, in a week, mm, maybe this weekend, I may do my uh, logo on. Yeah. Because I went to the meat walking and got my, my nets. Mm -hmm. So y'all can see that low ball I've been talking about from day one to day 45. <laughs> I think that's going to be um, what those new subscribers will eat. Mm -hmm. That's that gristle, y'all. Y'all know I don't do gristle. This chicken is so good. Mm-hmm. It's so many of layers of seasoning. Mm-hmm. What we talked about last? Oh. Um, married men. Relationships. You know, every day you see something like that on Facebook. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think every single person who genuinely that's that gristle. Who generally mm 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 my god. What should I say? My damn. Ooh. That's so good. Look at that. You know it's good when you clean that bone. Look at that bone. A dog will be disappointed. Well, not. Oh, I got the hiccups, y'all. Am I growing? Excuse me. A dog will be happy. Oh, I'm sorry. A dog will be happy. Uh, because they like bones. My bad. You know what? I was talking to my son and we was just talking generally, especially about um, relationships that are, are, are abusive. Abusive, not abusive. Abusive. If I say this one time, I'll say it a thousand times, and y'all may hear me say it a thousand times. How about that? If a man or a woman put their hands on you one time, leave. Pack your shit and go away. If they pull a gun, if they put a knife, if they pack up your belongings, sometimes you have to move away when they're not there. Mm-hmm. Y'all remember I moved uh, in the middle of the night from that abusive relationship. Sometimes if you, you know you have to leave, and sometimes it's hard, I know it. That love, Jones, that we have sometimes make us do foolish shit. But not foolish enough for you to stay with in, in an abusive uh, relationship, especially. I'm not going to even say especially. No way, if you're dating or married, if you're dating or married, pack your stuff. Get out. Go away. Find yourself. Hide. It ain't worth it. 
Mm-mm. As I've said again, that temporary insanity plea, hmm, because they was enraged in the high point of their love for you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It ain't worth it. Move. I learned that a long, long, long time ago. And it kind of hurt my heart. You know, I'm thinking like, you know, nobody has to go through that. When you are insecure, first of all, when you're courting, when you're dating, the first two months, really, I can't tell nobody what to do. This is how I instruct my life. It shouldn't be no sex in the first uh, two months. At least two months. Everybody, you know, Steve Harvey said 90 days. That's old. But I was telling you for the first 30 days. Talk. Hang out. Talk. Hang out. Do things together. You know, because you can learn some things by listening. Mm -hmm. And see how... He or she acts when you're out in the public. Now, that's oven crunch right there, y'all. Oh, my God, that skin is good. Shit. Mm. You see how he or she act in the public when somebody else looking at you? Or somebody compliments you? Or let's just say either one of you going to, you know, the, the powder room, the restroom. <laughs> and, um... Uh, Somebody stop to talk to you. Mm -hmm. I would love to see what they do or say. Or how they act after the fact. That's how you learn people. Hang out more. Just don't do that. Ooh, googly, googly, ooh, baby, yeah. Oh, baby, yeah. Yes, love. Yes, sweetheart. Yes, baby. Come on. Let's go. Let's do. Let's walk. Let's talk. Let's do it. I need to know who you are. Where your mama and your daddy at? How long have they been married? Are they divorced? Did he, was he abusive to your mama? Was your mama abusive to your daddy? Mm -hmm. Do you have a relationship with soap and water? Children, how many do you have? Have you been a good father? Have you been a good mother? Your upbringing, how was your upbringing? Were you happy? Were you sad? Were you depressed? In your broken relationships, in your broken marriage, was you happy? Was you depressed? Were you joyful? Yeah. How giving were you? How how taking were you? Were you? Mm. When you go out, what do you do? When you drink, how do you act? You got to have all those questions today, especially today, because mindsets are different today. The Bible says every, every, each, every generation is wiser yet weaker. What we had to deal with back in them days, in the 60s, the 70s, the 50s, the 40s, some of the 80s and 90s, the generations, the new um Generations that they can't handle shit what we handle. So, be careful people ask questions. Hang out, do stuff together. Listen and learn. Pay attention. Oh my God. Please pay attention. Mm, mm, mm. So all my new people that just came in here to take a bite of that potato. It's roasted potatoes and chicken thighs and carrots and uh, steamed broccoli. Take a bite.
Mm, it looks good, don't it? Oh, yeah. I don't know if I can say it enough, y'all. Just take your time. Don't be in no rush. Oh, another question. In the last 365 days, how many men or women did you sleep with? I'm protected. Or sex. Mm-hmm. Let me end it right there. Ask questions, people. My brothers and sisters, ask questions. Spend time with one another. You have to learn your partner. Learn them. Before you give everything to them. How about that? I love y'all. You know that, right? Thank you so much for supporting my channel. My new hoosters, thank you for joining us tonight. My... Veteran sisters, thank you so much for supporting me big, big, and big. So, with that said, have a fantastic, fantastic night.